Hey guys, I am BT Smitty and I am back with another video. This video is actually going to be a serious video and I know you can tell from the description what I'm going to talk about, why I've been gone off of YouTube for probably the past month and um, what's been going on with me. So just know that this is very, very hard for me and I'm generally like uh, um, a very closed person or a very private person I should say with like all of the things that I feel like people should not know but I always said on my platform I wanted to use it to for a purpose to bring happiness bring awareness to make someone feel better about themselves raise their confidence just make them laugh for a moment anything you know so uh, me sharing this story with you is my attempt to bring awareness to what happened to me and help it probably not happen to you too. So I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to go ahead and start. I got robbed. Um, I was living where I was living for a pretty long time and I was living by myself. So... Uh, basically one day as I was leaving without trying to give too much information because I try to decide what I wanted to share and what I didn't want to share here because it's fairly recent um, when I was leaving for work that morning I guess there was someone that was outside that was just there just kind of around and it looked weird but I didn't think anything of it so I left for work um, I was away for the weekend and then I came back and when I came back, it was actually Christmas Eve. So I was like, okay, I'm about to go in here. I got my wrapping paper, I got my tape, my scissors, I got everything, I'm about to go in here and stop at 7-Eleven to get me a hot chocolate because 7-Eleven hot chocolate is bomb. Fight me. Um, but yeah, I got home and I was gonna wrap gifts, drink my hot chocolate, relax, and wait for Christmas to come the next day. Because we generally do Christmas at my mom and dad's house. So I was just going to wrap everybody's gifts and bring it over the next day. So when I went in, I immediately noticed that there was something wrong. Like there was clothes everywhere. Um, and I noticed that my patio door, um, the, um, the drapes that were in front of the patio door were like pushed to the side. There was glass on the floor. So they took a lot of stuff. They took two of my 55 inch big screen TVs. They took um, my MacBook, which is for you YouTubers that use MacBook to edit your videos. That is a $1,500 or better dollar computer. So I was heartbroken about that. Uh, they didn't steal my vlogging camera that was in my car. They took a lot of my clothes. They took all of my shoes. Um, and I just started noticing a lot of stuff that they took around the house when I went to clean it up. Um, so just rewind back to when I walked in, when I walked in, when I walked in, I was sick. Like I immediately started crying and it was just like, no, when you get robbed, it's like no other feeling in the world. You feel like you're violated. Someone was in my personal space. They were rummaging through my things, trying to figure out what they wanted, what they didn't want. They took all my coats, jackets, all that. So, um, they took all my family's Christmas gifts. I only had two Christmas gifts that were left and because they were in my car. Like, I bought my dad a sound bar. I think it was like $200 sound bar for the TV. You know, just a lot of stuff. They took everything. So, when I got in there, I immediately started crying. And I was like, oh my gosh. Like, so I called my mom. My parents live like five minutes away from me. I called my mom and I'm crying hysterically on the phone. And she's like, call me. I'm like, what's going on? So, I told her. And she was like, call the police. I'm on my way. Call the police. I'm on my way. And I'm like, I cannot stop crying. I cannot get myself together to call the police. So, I hung up and I called the police. And um, they sent somebody out, but my parents, my um, and then I called my dad. I sat in the car because I didn't want to be in the place anymore by myself. So I went back outside and I sat in my car and I called my dad and I was just crying. Like, I couldn't even get the words out. He had already known because like him and my mom had, you know, I think my dad was up the street getting food or something like that. And she had already called him and told him, but like I could not just stop crying. I wasn't even saying words. I was just crying. So he was like, baby, I'm on my way, baby, I'm on my way. You know, and so my mom got there first and my mom's like, Brandy, are you okay? She comes to give me a big hug and I just cry more. Cause you know, like when you are already going through something and somebody gives you a hug, it just makes the water work come even more. So she um, gave me a big hug. She was like, come on, let's go inside. And so she was going inside and like my bedroom and everything is in the back. I had 
haven't even went to the back yet, but I was cautious of doing so because I didn't know if somebody was still in there or anything like that. So, and she was gonna walk straight to the back. I'm like, mom, don't go back there. I don't want you to go back there until like the police get here because I don't know what's back there. So, um, she waits and we wait. My dad comes in and we're just like discussing it in the um, living room. I'm trying to get myself together. And so the cop comes in and he, um, you know, does his due diligence. Like I said, I don't want to get too deep into those specifics. Uh, but he does that and then um, we talk about it, we discuss it, and then he left and then I left. You know, I actually called maintenance to have them come and board up the patio door because it was shattered. Shattered as pieces. They're my patio door. That's how they got in. They got in through the patio door. So I left. I went and I stayed at my parents' house and um, I moved out like three days later. <laughs> I moved out three days later and I, I did everything I could to break my lease. I'm like, look, I, I don't feel safe. Now, I'm not saying that this would work in every case, but I had been there for a really good time. I had been a really good tenant, never late. Um, and they allowed me, they had to talk to the regional office, but they allowed me to get out of my lease. So I moved the very next, like three days after. I My family came over and moved everything out, put it into a storage. And I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna find somewhere else to look. I was still sad, I was still down. So I wasn't recording, I wasn't doing YouTube or anything like that, I wasn't on social media or anything like that. I just was kind of like going through it, you know? And I'm just trying to be really candid as I possibly can about this situation. I was really sad, I was really sad, I was really down for a really long time. The next day was Christmas. They had stolen all of my Christmas gifts. So the next day when Christmas came, and this, this, I don't know, I think this is going to warm my heart forever. And I told you, they took my MacBook. Um, and that's how I edit my vlogs. That's how I give y'all y'all content. So they took that. And then um, on Christmas Day, when I was opening up gifts, I told my family, I don't want anything. If I can't give you your gifts because somebody stole them from me, I don't want anything. You know? But you know, my family wasn't going for that. They was giving me gifts. And I was like crying all morning. My eyes were all puffy. So, cause it had just happened the night before. So, um, I'm getting all these amazing gifts from my family. They are so amazing. So like, I get to like my last gift to open and it's from my brother and my sister-in-law and they're recording me. And I'm like, why are y'all recording me? You know, opening a gift. I've been opening gifts this whole time. So I, op I tear back the paper and it's a brand new MacBook. What? What? You know what I'm saying? So like I was so excited. Like I started to cry. I asked my brother to send me the video of me opening it up. Um, and he's supposed to send it to me today. If he sends it to me, then I'll insert it here. <sighs> and I might like being emotional on camera, but I want y'all to see like, cause that meant more to me than him just getting me a MacBook. My brother owns a computer company. If you guys didn't know, I want to put the name on the bottom. He fixes computers, anything with computers, he fixes them, he sells computers. Um, follow him on Instagram, I think it's Smart Giraffe. I'm gonna put it at the bottom of the screen. But when he gave me that MacBook, it means so, it meant so much to me, I just burst out crying in tears. So, I try to insert that video, as personal as it is, but I just want you guys to understand like how much everything meant to me. Um, my family came together, and it was like nine of us. We came and got that stuff out of there, got the U-Haul, got the U-Haul one day and got it out. Um, and so for a month, I had just been like relaxing, gathering my thoughts, getting myself together and stuff like that. And now I'm back. So um, I am in a new place now. I just moved in on February 16th and I absolutely love my place. It's so quiet and don't nobody come for me now because honey I am well prepared I have cameras so don't try me I was like damn do I just look like I got I, I must look like I got something because you're not gonna rob nobody that don't look like they got anything but you know what I said don't worry about it I had some amazing people on my team my dad was ready to find a dude like for, I had friends that was more mad than I was about to go crazy so that's the reason that I've been gone and I had all my amazing friends and my family here helping me move in here and it was just bomb. It was just amazing. So I'm really, really happy now. Um, but I 
wanted to make sure I shared a couple of things with you guys to, you know, so it won't happen to you. Um, I would suggest cameras. That may not be the thing for everybody, but I know my parents have it on their house. They have four of them, um, but have one um, on the front door and on like your patio door, just in case anybody comes up. If I had had cameras, this wouldn't even be an issue. You know what I mean? I still would have made this video, of course, but it wouldn't be as much of an issue. But that, you know, some people may want to install cameras. They're inexpensive. You don't have to have a subscription. I think what my parents have, they have um, a couple of cameras and they just download an app and you can view it from your phone. Like if there's a, it's motion sensor. So if you motion or anything like that, they'll see it. They'll see it on their phone and, you know, whatever. It'll capture it on the phone. So they have that. And one thing that I didn't have, that was, I think that was the most asked question that I got when uh, I told people what happened to me, because I didn't tell a lot of people, um, is did you have renter's insurance? I did not have renter's insurance. It's always painful for me to say, because it's such an inexpensive thing, but you gotta realize I moved in this place, th that place 13 years ago, and people would be like, they that wasn't a requirement for you to move in for you to get renters insurance it was not i guess maybe at that time it was not but i didn't have it and you know that's my fault that's my bad um but i would encourage everyone if you are renting please 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 get a renters insurance because it is inexpensive you can pay by the year and all of my stuff would have been able to be replenished through the insurance company had i had it so that is tip two for <laughs> Everybody that's running get renters insurance. Tip three is just to be aware. I wasn't as aware. I normally am, but I think guess this particular morning I was just like, doo, doo, doo. I'm just on my way to work. Be aware. Be aware of your surroundings. If something looks suspicious, make sure you get a good glimpse of it. Take pictures if you have to, slyly, of course. Like, you know, that's your home. That's your haven. So, you know, just just be aware. Just be aware of your surroundings. I don't think I was very aware that day. So yeah, though, I, I just, that was my story and I did get robbed. It really sucks. It hurt, you know, it's a violation of my privacy, of my home, of my haven. And now I'm in a bigger, much bigger, better place now. And I'm very happy, you know, um, I looked at it as a good thing because I had been in that place for so long. I was kind of complacent, kind of chilling, kind of relaxing, you know, um, but, I, but I'm, I'm really happy now. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. That is where I've been, where I've been gone for like a month and a half. But I am back. I am motivated. I'm driven. I missed y'all so freaking much, man. I talked about vlogging. I missed it. I'm ready to go back to it. You know, and I got my um, MacBook the next day. So I know you're like, ready? that's not an excuse. You had your MacBook the next day. You could edit. But I wasn't in the best spirits, you know, and I don't believe, I believe in doing everything in authenticity. So I can't come in here and smile in you guys' face and be really hurt, hurt, butt hurt and hurting, you know. So I just needed it. I think it was very necessary for me to take some time off. So I did, but now I'm back. Thank you guys. Everybody that uh, reached out to me and was like, where are you at? Where are the vlogs at? Are you okay? And stuff like that. Like people really did that. I was like, I did not know people were checking for me like that. But that makes me feel really, really, really good, you know? So, um, thank you guys for everything. I am better. I am good. I am back. You know what I mean? Vlogs, content, everything is coming. Don't you worry. If you are new here, thank you so much for watching this video, for this experience. And, um, subscribe, like, comment, all of that. And I am BT Smitty and I am out.